everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I will start with the thankful challenge, but before I go into the thankful challenge, I will tell you what I'm thankful for, because yesterday, I forgot to tell you what I was thankful for. I'm thankful for the fact that I remembered that the one channel changed its name and was able to tell you the name of the channel and its new name. Today, on this thankful challenge, I was tagged by Mark, the Arkansas woodcutter, and it was started by Kimber Keto Life, which is now called Every Day with Kimber, and Simple Life Reclaimed. Those are the ones that started the thankful challenge. I had a few questions that were about the Mediterranean way of eating, wondering if there was something special that you did in that way of eating. And um, I'm watching a few videos of people that are doing it, and they wanted to know if there was something else they could have added. Well, the one thing that they didn't have that they could have added was eggs. You can eat eggs in this Mediterranean way of eating. It's The eggs are great for your protein and, and fat. It's the, the Mediterranean way of eating has a lot of high fiber, high protein, and high fat is what the, the what the thing is. You can eat the fruits and vegetables. In fact, they encourage you to eat fruits and vegetables. And olive oil. Olive oil should never be heated. A lot of people cook with olive oil. They really shouldn't cook with the olive oil. When you buy your olive oil, you're always looking for the first cold press of the olive oil because you want it to be the first press of it. It's got the strongest oil or olive smell to it, and it's the better olive oil, and it's not heated. The process is not a heating process. It is actually pressed to get the oils out. And when you heat it, you change the structure of the oil, and you're destroying it. What you're supposed to do is when you use olive oil, you're supposed to add it to the dish after it's been removed from the heat. Like if you're going to put it on your vegetables or on your your pasta or something, you remove that from the heat, then add the olive oil. Also, the salads, a lot of people eat their salads first thing. That's the first thing that they eat. But it, in the Mediterranean way of eating, we eat the salad last. A lot of times it's the way that you cleanse your palate. It's got the vinegar and the oil in it sometimes if it's, if it's a... Say like we had a cucumber salad, it would have just the salt, olive oil, and vinegar in it. Or we had a tomato salad that would have been just salt and just salt and olive oil in it. If you're having a lettuce salad, of course you could put the Italian dressing in it, which would be the olive oil, the vinegar, and then the Italian seasoning would be mixed in there. That and that was always eaten at the end of the meal. That was kind of to cleanse your palate. A lot of people will also drink wine with their meal. My parents didn't want to drink wine with every meal, so they had the grape juice. You buy the dark grape, grape juice. They used to buy the Welch's grape juice, and they had a little glass of juice with their meal, and that helps you get your flavonoids that are in, found in wine, red wine. So rather than drinking the wine, they drank the grape juice, and they drank it at every meal. So that's a little bit of the um, Mediterranean way of eating. If you have any questions that you want to know, I can maybe tell you, maybe not. I don't know. I'll just, I'm just going from what I grew up with, and because my parents were from that area, so I will share what I know as I was growing up and the type of foods that we ate. And if you're wondering what we cooked with, well, my mother used to use the, the lard to cook a lot of foods or the baking grease or the um, beef grease she, or coconut oil. But she never used olive oil to cook with on the stove. And um, the other oils were not good for you, so she never used those. So this is my video for today, and I'll take you take care, and I'll talk to y'all again tomorrow. Bye.